There are three major groups currently interested in the commercial development of oil from the sands. One of them has already had an application before the Conservation Board, which was deferred and will be coming up for reconsideration again this year. It's impossible, of course, to say in advance what the findings of the Board will be after that public hearing. This whole question is a matter of timing. At the present time, we're not marketing only a relatively small portion of the total productive capacity of our existing oil industry. And as you know, in the international oil uh, policy, the, uh, even a relatively small increase in the volume of oil going or attempting to be put into the American market from this country could upset the delicate balance to the place that it might bring on restrictions that would be very far-reaching and detrimental to our whole oil uh, industry. Now, we want to see the development of the sands just as quickly as it's in the interest of the people of Alberta to have that development. We don't want to prejudice or jeopardize their interest by being premature and bringing on some of these other disabilities. Could you estimate how long it might be before the oil sands are developed? Uh, I couldn't say definitely because even after a permit is issued, it is estimated it would take at least three and probably four years after that before a plant could actually get into operation. Do you feel the northeast corner of the province has been neglected so far as development is concerned? Well, I'll put it to you this way. If they refuse to give the 5% quota that is needed, well, I will certainly have to say that we are being sadly and sorely neglected.